Hi, this is Eric Lyons, and this tutorial is designed to show some of the major features of Koji. Koji is a scalable web-based platform that's designed to make the management, integration, analysis, and visualization of genomic and functional genomic data as easy as possible for a variety of different types of researchers. Currently within the scalable system are over 19,000 genomes from over 15,000 different organisms, including 1,300 different functional genomic experiments. We're going to begin by identifying all the genomes that are associated with the organism ZMAs. Currently within Koji, there are 13 genomes for maize, including a variety of different types of assemblies, masking of the primary sequence, and annotation data sets. I'm going to select RefGen V1, which has associated with it 41 different functional genomic experiments. We can visualize these data with Koji's genome uh, visualization platform that's based on JBrowse. This middle area here represents gene models. I can take a look at all the experiments that are associated with this, including some RNA-seq data, as well as a variety of epigenetic and functional data. What's nice about this system is as uh, regions of interest are identified, we have the ability to quickly zoom in on them and analyze these regions in a variety of different details, even down to individual nucleotides. To show some of Koji's comparative genomic features, we're going to use a tool called SynMap, which allows us to compare two whole genomes in order to identify regions of synteny. We're going to compare the genome of ZMAs to that of sorghum. And we're also going to turn on some advanced visual visualization, including being able to calculate the synonymous mutation rates between identified syntenic gene pairs, as well as modify the visualization so that it fits better within, um, within this particular res screen resolution. As these analyses run, they use Koji's powerful job execution framework that keeps track of which stages of which analyses have been previously run so that they can be skipped over as necessary or recomputed if requested. When the results come back, they're in an interactive dot plot with the sorghum genome on the y-axis and the maize genome on the x-axis. These dots, these quadrants represent regions where we've compared two chromosomes, and these dot represents regions of synteny, with purple being derived that are orthologous, and these cyan regions derived from an older shared whole genome duplication event. We can zoom in on these chromosome by chromosomes comparisons, and as we map around in this interactive dot plot, we can get pairs of genes in their annotations. I'm going to click on a particular pair, which allows us to perform on-the-fly comparative genomic analyses in order to identify micro-regions of synteny. In this case, I'm going to request for 200 kilobases of sequence upstream and downstream from this particular pair of genes that I've clicked on. And I'm also going to be dynamically masking these regions so that we can only identify, so that we only compare coding sequences between the two regions. As I highlight these regions of sequence similarity, I can see that we have a nice pattern of collinearity, and this identifies the orthologous gene pairs between these two regions. If I want to get more information about one of these genes, all I need to do is click on it. Its functional annotations are retrieved, including links to other tools, as well as in-house and off-site data systems. If I want to do additional searches, I can quickly link to Koji's tool for performing multiple genome blasts. All I need to do is search for particular genomes of interest, such as foxtail millet, and as I identify these genomes, I can add them to a list, and I can build this up um, in order to simultaneously search as many different genomes um, of interest as I want to. This tool, again, runs dynamically. The results are um, retrieved and visualized in a very interactive framework, and then I have the ability to further refine these kinds of analyses as I see fit. I'm now going to show Koji's visualization system for diversity data, and I'm going to do this using the organism Arabidopsis because we have a lot of data loaded for that particular organism. What I want to highlight is that we have many versions of Arabidopsis, including different species and different ecotypes. Um, in terms of Columbia Zero, we have over 1,000 functional genomic experiments associated with this genome, including many expression data sets, RNA-seq, methylation data sets, um, and, and diversity data sets. So I'm going to do a quick search for SNPs, 
This identifies all those experiments. They're, they've been resequenced. Um, as I highlight these regions, I want you to know that there are so many SNPs right here that we can't visualize all the data, so they're shown as histograms. If I zoom in on that particular region, we start to see these SNPs show up as little blocks, each color representing a different kind of substitution or indel. As I get closer, we start to see how these SNPs actually are. So here's a C to G um, conversion, an A to C, a T to A, and we can see their relative position within gene models. At the same time, I can associate this with a variety of different kinds of methylation patterns. I'm going to incorporate some CHH methylation data, um, as well as maybe some CG methylation data that's taken from a variety of different mutant backgrounds. I'm going to zoom out so that we can start to see those methylation patterns um, in more detail over more broad parts of the genome. And that we then have the ability to identify interesting regions, such as this area here where we have a bunch of SNPs, as well as a lot of different types of methylation. With that, I'd like to thank you for your attention, and always feel free to contact us if you have any comments or questions about Koji. Thank you very much.